Hey everybody, welcome to Unveiling Beauty. My name is Ammon Carver and I am not here with my usual co-host, Mr. Nick Stenson. I miss him terribly, but don't worry, he hasn't abandoned us. And today, in his place, I'm so excited to be joined by a co-host, somebody you guys are very familiar with. His name is Sean Goddard. Sean, welcome to the show, my friend. Hey, Ammon. Thank you so much. It's great to be here filling in those big shoes for Nick tonight. <laughs> it's going to be fantastic. For those of you who haven't seen Unveiling Beauty before, this is for any of you who love beauty, beauty enthusiasts, salon professionals, beauty professionals, and all of you consumers out there who might just be looking for tips from the pros. So if you're into beauty, this is the show for you. Sean, before we get into the actual show itself, I wanted to start off with this experience that I had. I got to go back to Utah, where I'm from, where I went to hair school. And when I went to hair school, uh, we kind of glazed over texture education. Not, I don't think it was intentionally, just with this excuse that there wasn't much diversity in that area. And I got invited to do a class by a, a school called Taylor Andrews Academy. And they are such an incredible school, top notch in the country. But this story of what I'm about to tell you really just took my respect and love for these guys to the next level because they reached out to me and they've seen the journey that we've been on at Ulta Beauty to really making sure uh, that we're elevating our awareness and our texture management skills so that we are really truly inclusive for all hair types and all people and all guests that walk through the door. And they asked me to do uh, you know, a, a program for their instructors because they realized that although they may not have, have, have that many people that walk through the doors needing those, that one day their students are going to go out into the world and they would be doing them a disservice to not give them those skills. So I just came off of that trip and my heart is filled with so much love. And uh, I know you can relate because we've been on this journey together already. No, I think that's such a cool opportunity because you're right. In school, when I went to school, there was literally almost nothing about texture as well. And so over the years, a lot of it was looking up and researching myself how to learn these techniques, looking at my peers in, in the industry, which I know we have one that I'm really excited about tonight on the show, and trial and error ultimately, figuring out what works and figuring it out by practicing and experiencing it. So I think that's awesome that you got to hand all of those little gifts of info to those students so that they're set up better than we were. So tonight's episode, What's it, what's it about, Sean? So tonight's episode is all about things that sparkle. So adding that uh, little accessorizing to your updos. Styles that sparkle, I love it. You know, I'm a geek about styling and finishing and just adding a little bling to it. It's just setting me over the edge with the excitement. Just don't forget tonight, once we get through with the show, engage with us, comment a lot because tomorrow night we'll have our after the show where we'll be giving away some prizes. So make sure you're asking questions, engaging with myself and with our guests, and then make sure, and then we'll follow up tomorrow on Instagram for after the show. So let's get right into it, right? So styles that sparkle. Who's going to be joining us today, Sean? And let's get ourselves started. Well, we have the honor and pleasure today to welcome one of our own pro team members, Miss Tequila Riley. Hey, hello. Hey, PK, welcome. Hey, how are you? How doing are you guys? Great. Doing great. So happy to have you both here. And Ammon's going to be doing hair tonight too, which usually he's just sitting here asking the questions. So I'm excited to awesome. see Can't wait what to you guys see. are going to get into. So, <laughs> Pekila, tell us a little bit first. You're up first about accessorizing the hair. What are your tips to uh, share with everyone? What you're looking for, how you're doing it? Wow, accessories are really saving the day right now as we are in this, uh, you know, a, a very different space. We are still caring about our beauty, but we want it to be in a, a simplistic and very easy fashion. So accessories are certainly having a moment. And that that can be from very blingy accessories or even something as simple as a very colorful scrunchie to uh, elevate the season. Um, and so I do have a technique uh, that I actually had some fun with uh, a colorful scrunchie, something that you can carry into this season that would be on trend, especially as we go into the holiday season, something that you can do at home just to give yourself a little boost, um, just so that you can feel the joy. <laughs> I love that. It's so true. The little sparkle can brighten up your day, right? Um, yes. A lot. So, a lot, absolutely. So, Ammon, um, what's your favorite way to use accessories? I mean, honestly, right now, Sean, I'm like extra, extra with with accessories. I love, 
um, the inspirations that I'm seeing on social media where I can see people take very simplistic styles, but they're almost um, pushing it. Like the rule of thumb used to be like, put on all the accessories and then take one off. But I feel like now it's like, put on all the accessories and then add one more in some of these looks. So the rule of thumb that I like to go by when it comes to trends, when I'm looking for is if you have a simple hairstyle, like uh, a center part that's just straight, you can use more accessories. If you have a more complex hairstyle, like I'm gonna show you like an Aria Grande, Grande ponytail with a braid, then a minimal accessory so that there's not too many bells and whistles. It still has that balance so that you're thinking about not too many things to look at, but that's a good, good rule of thumb. So I have two examples that I'll be able to show you today. The first one, I'm gonna show you how to get this like Ariana Grande sort of like ponytail and the steps to go there and then which accessories I think would look super adorable with it. And then I've got a secondary one that's very, much more simple in terms of styling, but it's kind of overloaded with accessories. So that's my my vibe today. I love that because, you know, it, like you said, more is more is more. And I think we can all say we've been there where we've definitely killed. I know we've watched some videos recently of some old stuff that we've uh, done in the past of where we've really gone for it with those accessories. So, um, Pekila, I know you have a video that you want to share with us. So why don't you uh, talk us through what we're seeing here? Wow. So on this video, just basically showing how we can just take a simple, you know, you may call it a bad hair day, how we can turn a bad hair day, a ponytail day into a beautiful day as we approach the next season in regards to hair styling. So, uh, yeah, you're seeing us take a, a ponytail, a puff, and take a really uh, beautiful scrunchie. And you can just look, you know, your favorite color or something that ties into the holiday. And you're going to loop that hair through that scrunchie just, just to kind of create a shape. And it really creates um, almost like the effect of taking a ribbon through your hair effortlessly. So it's actually cute, it's dainty, it's simple, and the scrunchie method makes it very, very simple. But you are looping this through the hair and really placing it strategically, adding a little um, edge detail with an edge brush. I use my pattern edge tamer as well as the edge brush to create this and very simple, one, two, three, and it's done. I love that. I love that it's something simple that people can easily do themselves at home with with things that they might even already have. And if, of course, if they don't have them, we know where they can get them at Alta Beauty. But guys, remember, like Ammon said, comment, 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 because I think one of the things PK mentioned might be one of the gifts that you can win. So Ammon, tell us about what you're using for accessories right now. Yeah, so this one's kind of fun. So Sean, I, I, what I just did to recap a little bit what I did, I'm gonna get her closer so you guys can see. So the center part can be done with like a, a little small braid like that, or you can pull it straight back if that feels too complex for you. The hairdresser living inside me wants to do more and more extra. So I created a center part. And then the hack or the hair hack or the trick that I wanna show you guys today is really the magic in a look like this is when you pull it up is that if this Ariana Grande ponytail gets deflated, then it's like, it's like want want, right? You literally totally. can hear the sound of it go want want. So <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys a little trick that I use that you can see here, but I'm not sure if you'll be able to tell what it is. So I'm just gonna break it break it to you guys. So this is actually done with a little bit of electrical tape. That's what I, yes, I said electrical tape. So if you hold this up and you create this ponytail suction straight up, you can wrap that electrical tape. Now I know a lot of you at home might be thinking, electrical tape in hair how is that going to come out believe me trust me like if you hold this and just wrap it around there it comes out very very easily the same way you put it in you just have to hold the section of hair and you've already got it anchored in a ponytail so what this is doing is it's just giving you enough strength that it's giving you almost like a telescope type of an effect that's giving you that plume so that you're not relying on back combing and teasing to get that full bodied effect so now I have the ability to take, and I had it preset in just rollers just to kind of keep it, to keep it separated and set. But all I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna use some hairspray and really just ha start having some fun opening this up. This is the Lanza Lustrous Finishing Spray. I love this because this is like our magic potion or my magic potion, my favorite go-to hairspray when it comes to photo shoots and stuff because you can really get a buildable, workable shape out of it and build these cool, you can see already like just by lifting and pluming, 
the shape and the body that we're, they're getting with this hair. So I'll start playing with this, but the fun part about this is now I have the opportunity to play around with a lot of different accessories. So what I see is like Ariana Grande vibe has sort of like that sweet kind of edge to her. So how cute would it be to then take like Kikila was saying and have like a little scrunchie that's like a little bow that can like sit on it or even add like a couple of them, maybe a black and a pink one or maybe just a black one, right? So this can be just this or you can play around with a lot of different accessories where you can just clip these colorful ones. So I'm gonna finish pluming and then I'll throw these accessories in and then I'll bring it back to how we can make this really, really easy for the more simple type of styles. I mean, it's pretty crazy how well we can already see the side-by-side -side <laughs> transformation of that finishing spray. I know that's your go-to on set. I've seen you running around looking for it frantically. It's your definitely your go-to product. So you you guys can see the results you're getting from that right away. And then what I love about that too is that was really a great hair hack for all those consumers that don't fully get how to get that height in the ponytail. I think a lot of people just getting it up into the high ponytail is a struggle enough. So then getting that extra bit of detail to give it the support is really the hair hack for the, those people at home trying to understand how to get that extra volume. So great tips there. Now, Pekila, I think you have one more uh, mannequin head that you wanted to show us. Yes, I just have a few things here that we can use, at, you know, quite simple things that the guest consumer can use at home to elevate their, their you know, simple, their simple styles that they're wearing right now. And one of the things that's on trend, we are still making statements in letters. So, uh, very blingy accessories you're able to uh, spell out things it can be your name it can be love a feeling uh right here we have ulta you know we I have that, that. Uh, so this yeah. is definitely on trend still on trend uh you know on the extra side but ways to um express yourself even little sticky things you know um these are little pearl stickies you can add a little few pearl stickies yeah. to style to really elevate that as well and then tying into what Ammon is doing, you know, Ammon is actually showcasing uh, really bows. And bows are really coming in all types of uh, fabrics and, and textures that are really quite simple. And here I have a few that, especially as we go into fall, these actually have leather. So they're not, you know, actually they're faux leather. Mm -hmm. But they give you that leather vibe, um, you know, to kind of coordinate uh, with an ensemble. So we're able to, you know, carry our, tie our hair into, as well as our fashion, in really simple ways, uh, really simple things that we can do at home just to really raise our um, energy and our vibe and our look uh, through the next season. I love that. I love that little pop of pat faux patent for that holiday little festive glamour there. So good tips. Pekila Ammon, I see some crafting happening back there again. What are you doing? Yeah, so a little trick for you guys. Sometimes the accessory itself needs to just be the accessory. It doesn't need to be the actual support or the actual structure of it. So you can see I told you the trick with the electrical tape. And now I, in this case, I don't want that electrical tape to show. I want it to feel like that sweetness. So I'm just taking the base of this, which looks just like this. It's just a regular scrunchie. But instead of trying to pull this and loop this through and actually use it as a scrunchie, I'm just taking some hairpins and I'm just taking and covering it around. So it looks as though I've like double wrapped the actual base of the pony there but when in fact I just placed it with a couple of hairpins and now we have a cute little hair accessory that goes along with her like Ariana Grande like vibe here. So that's one like I said not always easy for everybody to think about doing the center braid but pretty much everybody can do like a top pony and put that accessory in there. I also wanted to show another example of what I was talking about when you go more simple you can with the style you can go more extra with the accessories right so here's an example of a mannequin head which is probably a funny thing for consumers yes we're grown grown adults who play with doll heads on a continual basis um but you guys can see how i just took these are all by the hair edit i love the accessories that they have um, because they have a wide range from like blingy this is a little chain it has like some pearls but you can just place them and i can put 
a lot of them in, but this still feels very like easy and doable. See, I just put it on one side as an accent and it really just, it photographs beautifully. It's very easy to put in. So it's not intimidating for somebody who's at home going, well, I don't think that I can do electrical tape around my head and then pin a bow in, but I think that I could probably put in a whole bunch of cool little bobby pins like that. So something for everybody, just remember, the more complex the hairstyle, the more simple the accessory, the more simple the hairstyle, the more you can go hog wild with the accessories. I love that. That's a really great tip because I think sometimes people wonder, like we were saying earlier, what, how much is too much? But that's a great thing for the consumer to remember and the stylist because I know we like to go overboard as well. So it's knowing when to edit and the editing is in the simplicity of the style. And Pakila, thank you so much for sharing that info about what I picked up from both of you guys was that the scrunchies are back in the game because you both intentionally were using those, but I don't think you knew that you were going to. And also mm -hmm. that bows and stuff like that. So it's cool to see two different separate people come and bring almost the same trend. So that, that lets us know that we're definitely onto something here. So Pakila, mm -hmm. thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you. You're the best, PK. Thank you so much. Sean, listen, I'm thinking like, you know, we always talk about beauty has no gender, so I could just wear like a, <laughs> a simple little bow too. No, yes, that is I'll the new look. look. Okay, so our next guest I'm really excited to invite on here. It's Miss Dina Galanos. Dina, how are you? Good. Hey. Hi, guys. Hello. How are you? <laughs> well, welcome so to the to show. See you. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much for having me. It's so nice to see everyone's faces. 100%. So Dina, for those that don't know you, tell us who you are and what your role is with Alta Beauty. Um, well, my name is Dina Galanos and I am an elite stylist with Alta Beauty. I've been at the same location in Kissimmee for 10 years and I'm also a member of the Alta Beauty design team. Nice. Yes, you are indeed a member of the Alta Beauty design team. We have high expectations for you and you never let <laughs> us down. Dina, I wanna know because a lot of people don't realize when they see the design team members, you guys are very front and center on social media, but you work behind the chair. You work just like regular stylists taking a lot of guests. So I wanna know from your perspective, how you feel about accessories. So I absolutely love accessories. I'm on the same page as you. Anything glitz and glam, like sign me up. <laughs> um, but last year I saw um, a lot of these clips and I actually purchased these at Ulta, but I do a lot of simple, um, simple pretty hairstyles and I love to accessorize with like these big chunky mm. clips um so like you guys just said like something really simple I think is um like doing some waves and maybe putting it behind her ear and then really embellishing the hair and adding these fun clips they're so easy they clip right in um and I think it's a great way to embellish the hair and really elevate the hair for the holidays coming up yeah, I agree. And it's been, it's, it's funny because it's not as though hair accessories is something that's brand new to the world, but it is definitely like this trend that's emerging where people are having more fun with them than they ever have before. And I don't know why, I don't know if it's just because it's just like something right now that it's like something extra fun to do when maybe they can't get into the salon as often. So they're just decorating and playing with it more. But I, you know, in my career, I've never seen people so readily um, excited to put in clips and glitz and like glad man and all this like fun sparkle. So that's really, really fun. I have a question for you specifically um, that, that kind of round, round tables it all the way back from the beginning of the show, Galena, because you've been on a journey with us um, on as a design team member too. And I spoke earlier about the Taylor Andrews Academy and their commitment to making sure that their students got the texture education. And I know that you firsthand have experienced that. So talk to us a little bit from your perspective about the journey that we've been on at Ulta Beauty with texture. Yeah, of course. Um, well, I can really relate to both of you and a lot of people out there that attended hair school. Um, when I was in hair school, we didn't really touch on curly hair or texture at all. So I didn't have that confidence that I have now working behind the chair with Ulta Beauty. Um, and I actually had the opportunity last year to work one on one with Pakila. So Pakila has definitely opened my eyes and have given me the confidence to approach um, any guest that walks through our doors at Ulta Beauty. Um, and really just like you said, have that texture management and know what products to use on our guests. Um, and Ulta Beauty has really taken that 
step to be inclusive for all. So anyone that walks through our doors at Ulta Beauty um, is welcome in our salon. And we have services for any guest, all hair types. Um, and yeah, working with Ulta Beauty, I feel like I can approach anyone that comes and sits in my chair. And also attending the Ulta Academy, um, Ulta Beauty invests in their stylists and gives all of us the confidence. So again, anyone that walks through our doors, anyone that books online or sits in our chair is gonna have an awesome experience. And we are all educated on what products to use and how to really um, just make the experience awesome for them. Nice. Well, Dina, remind us, I know you said in the beginning, but if anyone is in your area and wants to book an appointment with you, how do they find you? What store? I am at the Ulta Beauty at the Loop in Kissimmee. Nice. So make sure you guys book with Dina. She's an awesome stylist. Thank Go you. Go see her. Thank you so much, Dina, for your passion, for being on this texture journey with us, like you said, for showing up front and center as one of those design team members. And look, just like Sean said, you guys will not be sorry if you get to sit in Dina's chair because she is a one-of-a-kind hairdresser. Thank you for being on the show, hon. We'll talk to you Thank soon. Thank you guys so much for having me. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, guys. So, Sean, what a great episode. Styles that sparkle. We got a little glitz, a little glam, a little heartfelt. I feel like it was a nice, well-rounded episode today. Um, I'm feeling good. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. It was a lot of great information for the professional and the consumer to be able to feel out a little bit more about us at Alta Beauty. That's right. So hopefully you guys enjoyed our show. Don't forget tomorrow night on Instagram, we're going to do it after the show. We'll be recapping the show, answering questions live, and also da -da 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 -da, give the, that giveaway that we talked about. So make sure that you tune in tomorrow night, 6 p.m. Central on Instagram so that you can see if you won the prize. And if you're not following us on Instagram, make sure to follow the Unveiling Beauty Show on IG. And as well, make sure you follow the Alta channel on YouTube for lots of great content there. That's right. So Monday and Tuesday nights. Monday nights, we have Unveiling Beauty. And then Tuesday nights on Instagram Live to recap the show. Next episode is going to be Monday night and it's going to be called Timeless Texture Trends. So join us tomorrow and next week. And until then, we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>